Hi and welcome guys, here is the next part of the low poly character creation series in which I'm going to model my character. We stopped the last time after adding the cube with a mirror modifier and I enabled clipping for this because without clipping the vertices wouldn't merge in the center. But when I check this again, it behaves like that. Okay, and now we can go ahead and select vertices and move them around to fit the shape of the character that you can see on this reference images. By the way, I adapted them slightly. And for the parts where you need more geometry, you can press Ctrl R and add in edge loops. And now you can see how useful it is to have the reference images for the front and the right view. And what you have to do basically is to match the outline of the character for both views. To select more than one vertex you could use box selection by pressing the B key, but I prefer to use the lasso selection. You can draw this selection around the vertices that you would like to select when you hold the control key pressed and move the mouse with the left mouse button pressed. Then you can use either the gizmo to move the selected vertices or press the G key to move them around. Also the extrude function is your friend that you can activate by pressing the E key to extrude out new parts like here for the legs and the feet. Then I switch to the side view and here you can see that there are a lot of vertices for that you have to adjust the position to match the character's shape. Well and these are the basic principles that I use to create this low poly guy and from time to time I change from wireframe to solid shading to see the results of my transformations. The model that will be created here is a base model, that means I will omit the details like shoes or hair of the reference images. I can insert these if I create a special character, but for this I can use the base model then as a template. Ok, I will speed up the video now because I'm going to continue using the same methods until I get to model the head and connect it to the body. Great, now we finished the basic body parts and I will add a cube now as separate object, add a subdivision surface modifier to it that I apply and then I move the vertices like I did before till they fit the shape of the head.
When it comes to adjusting the shape of the head for the front view, I again remove the left part of the head and add a mirror modifier. And now comes the tricky part of connecting the head to the body. I'm adding some edge loops to get more details for the head and I can work out the area for the neck and the faces where it will be connected can already be deleted. The number of edges there corresponds to the neck area of the body mesh. Now I join the head and the body object by pressing Ctrl J and then I select these edges here and use bridge edge loops to connect the neck to the head. Then I select the whole head mesh and bring it down again and the rest of the work is adjusting positions of particular vertices. So guys that's it for modeling the low poly character and in the next part I will show you how to add a simple rig. I hope you like this tutorial and my channel and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next part. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for your support if you already support me on my Patreon and come back soon to JNM.